This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Guys, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, viewers and viewer? Well, I guess if you're watching this video, you're a viewer. I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I am having a good day. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comment section below. What were you up to today? Did you have a math test? Did you have a job interview? Did you score 30 points in your basketball game? Let me know. I'm always interested to hear what you guys are up to. But what I'm what I'm up to today is uh, we got another sneaker pickup right here, and it is a nice sneaker pickup if I do say so myself so if you guys enjoyed the videos make sure to smash that like button I know it seems like a stupid little thing but it goes a long way in helping out the channel if you guys do enjoy it and if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do post content seven days a week except for when I don't bang we got some kicks right here now I'm actually gonna ask you guys to do one small little thing before we get into this if you guys would like to Head over to Instagram and shoot me a follow at the real Ray Ray 20 I'm posting a really awesome picture that I think a lot of you guys will enjoy and find a little bit into I think you guys will enjoy I'll just say I think you guys will enjoy it. There's a link in the description to follow me or like you see on the screen. But let's take a look at these shoes. So I was at Foot Locker the other day and I decided that I was gonna pick these up. This is a pair of shoes I was on the fence about. I didn't know if I wanted to get these and I was actually really surprised to see these at Foot Locker. I was like, wow, they actually stock stuff like this? Because my local house of hoops, I feel like they usually don't get shoes like this. It, it's weird because it comes in like this special Nike sportswear box with all the limited and special releases. Some other shoes I have in these is a pair of Jordan 1 swooshless and then I have some LeBron 11 EXTs and some Kobe EXTs that came in a box like this. So it's like special releases that come in this box and I was really happy to get these and Foot Locker messed up the price on these two. They're supposed to be 145 Canadian except they only had them as 130 Canadian. So that was basically the deal breaker for me or the deal maker I guess. I was like the 145 and eh, I'm still sort of on the fence about how I feel about these but considering I got them for $15 under retail I think it's worth trying them out. Now this is a new silhouette. This is something that Nike needs to be doing more of. Now if you guys don't don't know what they are take a quick little guess I'm gonna take them out of the box right now they are I haven't really taken a great look at these yet but they are the Air Jordan 1 high deconstructed and these things are crazy this is in this all baby blue Nike officially calls it they call it ice blue white and Vachetta tan so there's the Vachetta tan right there obviously the bottom is the white part and then you got the bang 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 ice blue all up top now the cool thing about this is that it's basically like half a shoe like it's it's literally half a shoe it's just a bottom and then little cloth like they, they just destroyed the shoe they put on half a shoe on top it's super thin it's, it's like it's like a Converse Chuck Taylor is a great way to put it it's it's just a canvas all the little designs here are still the same piece they're just stitched on so you can see the swoosh you can see where the panel usually is the Jordan wings logo is printed on in a screen print but then you have the little mud guard there which is stitched on once again it's all stitched on it's a one-piece canvas upper now the really cool thing about these is that they took a classic shoe the Jordan 1 which I'm a huge fan of we all know how many pairs of Jordan 1's I have this is my 21st pair of Jordan 1's that is ridiculous they took that old classic and wonderful silhouette and they updated it to make it something that's even cooler and even well I don't know about even cooler but it's different which is cool in itself because Nike has not been doing enough of that there's been the Stan Smith boost there's been the new whole reimagining of the EQT's and Adidas has been doing a whole bunch of stuff like that Nike he has been left dead in the water way behind Adidas in terms of innovation and making new things that people actually want to wear for a lifestyle sneaker. Sure, the Vapor Max, cool, whatever. You're not going to wear that for a lifestyle sneaker. At least 95% of the population is not. That is a strictly athletic looking sneaker that people are going to wear in the gym. This, however, is something that I can see some of them. When I'm determining whether a sneaker has lifestyle appeal, I always sort of envision would one of my friends wear this? Like, could I see one of my friends wearing this? And I have a few friends I could envision wearing this pair pair of shoes right here. Now it's definitely not your everyday type of shoe as far as whether you should buy this if you have a small collection or not. I'd say if you have like 10 pairs of shoes and you have some good go-to everyday sneakers this is a great option for you. But in terms of if you're buying one pair of shoes for the entire year 
I would maybe recommend a regular pair of Jordan 1s. They're just going to offer more support, more durability. This is just a canvas, as I said. So if it rains outside, your foot is going to get soaked. This is definitely a fair weather spring and summer shoe. I'm not saying this is a bad shoe in the slightest. Like, I think this is a really awesome shoe. I just don't think this is your go-to staple in your rotation. Like, I think this is a once-in-a-while sort of shoe, which is what I'm going to be wearing it as. Now, they've released a few other colorways of these. They've released a pink one, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm really considering getting getting that one. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys think I should get the pink one because I'm a huge fan of pink and I'm a huge fan of Jordan 1. So it's just a perfect combination. But as far as these ones go, I like the baby blue. It's different. I feel like you have to wear these with gray jeans. I right now don't own a pair of gray jeans, so I'm going to have to go pick up a pair of gray jeans at some point in the next couple of weeks so I can actually rock these things. But I like how they look. You're probably seeing them with blue jeans right now, and they don't look the best, but they don't look the worst either. You can really see how it looks more like a Converse Chuck Taylor. It hugs your leg a lot closer since there is no padding around the shoe. It is literally just canvas. If you take a look inside, all it is is canvas. You can see the little size tag and the information right there and then on the bottom of course they do have the Nike Air printed onto the midsole which is pretty cool. What do you guys think of these? Do you think it's a good innovation from Nike? Now I'm not sure it's the perfect way to update a Jordan 1 except I'm just happy that they're trying things. Nike has not been doing anything and I'm a big fan of Nike. I'm a big fan of Jordan. I'm not loyal to any brand like if Adidas puts out something nice I'm gonna buy that. If Nike puts out something nice I'm gonna buy that. So ideally I would like every single sneaker brand in the world to be putting out dope stuff because that would give me even more choices of stuff to buy. So hopefully Nike keeps on innovating, pushing the envelope, tinkering with stuff. Whether you think this was a hit or a miss, it doesn't really matter because there's going to be some shoes that everyone doesn't like, some shoes that everyone likes. Like everyone has different opinions, different tastes, which is the great thing about sneakers. But let me know what you think about these down in the comment section below. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at them. If you guys would like to pick them up anywhere, there will be a link down in the description to where you can purchase them. If you're a fan of Jordan 1's in the slightest one day every day, I'd recommend picking this up. Also, make sure to hashtag Team One Day Every Day down in the comment section below if you're still watching to this point of the video. I really appreciate all you guys tuning in. Just a quick little review of my new sneaker pickup today. Nothing too crazy, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.